Guys, welcome to another edition of Hadi on Sangi Radio with our co host, Miss Sana Khan Haider. Sorry. Sana Haider. Yes, sorry, sorry. It's going to be a badass edition today. What's up, what's up? What's up, Facebook? How are you guys doing? We're we still have a fun, fun interview with this guy right here. Yes, sir. We're still working out some kinks, man, but well, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. For sure. <laughs> this is a lifetime here. We got to change this mic to red. Oh, look, we got a red one here. <laughs> Oh, dang. What's up? We're on the red mic, my friends. We're <laughs> testing, testing. Guys, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Welcome. Start with the firm, then we'll go into the campaign. Yes, sir. You're the boss. Too. Oh, awesome, man. It just came in right now? Yeah, oh, no, I got a B10 in the morning. Oh, nice. No, my email just came in right now? No, I should have been. Yeah, I was like 9 50 Oh, nice. For more information, man, I checked it. Nice, for sure. It should have came like last week, though. Oh, yeah. One, two, eight, 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 one, two, we're juggling, man. We're in trial right now as you speak. You know, picked the jury yesterday at NRG and in court right now, county court, Harris County. So, yeah. yeah. All Snake. Going against allsnake.com, my friends. All, so, all Snake? All, well, that's why, you know, I got all a website, allsnake.com. All snake. Is this a play on with Allstate? Or? Straight up. <laughs> and the Texas bar certified it, so I'm good. <laughs> you know? Is it a car accident or what? The case here, it's a car accident, yeah, they're rolling the dice on a minor impact, but today the defendant on the stand mentioned insurance, so, he's like, yeah, my insurance paid for the plaintiff's property damage, oh, good, good, thank you for ruining the cardinal rule in your favor, <laughs> letting everyone know there's insurance involved, so, yeah. So, how many other attorneys do you have at your firm? Uh, me plus five. Okay. Yeah, so, hopefully one more in a couple months. Yeah. Uh, my sister, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome, yeah. Yeah. Your interest in the car is so Guys, if you're joining us live, send the message, send the comments, so we can shout back and and like your comments. You should start the session today with have someone call in and throw a question, you know, say we're going to be here and uh, got a question, call now and hop on the radio. That was the hardest thing for me to do as a kid was get on the radio like you call 104 or 979. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, right here on Houston's number one DC music station, 95.1 FM at 1460 AM. Also streaming live right now on his Facebook. That is Hussein Hadi. He is, uh, he is back in our studio right here. It's a beautiful day right here in Sangeet City, USA. Let's go ahead and welcome him. Of course, he's back on the Rush Hour Show with AJ and Sana. Hadi, welcome back on air. How are you doing, my friend? Doing great, sir. Thank you for having me again. Sana, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. Yeah, Sana yeah. wasn't here last week and uh, the week before as well. So Sana now gets to do uh, something that she does really good, by the way, really well, actually, and she asks some of the best questions, some of the hardest questions as well, and I love whenever we do an interview or whenever we talk to someone because she is always prepped and has some good questions, but if you're just tuning in, Mr. Hadi Law Firm, that is uh, who he is, the Texas Torch, of course, back in the uh, studios with us, and he has so much to share. Each week, he's on the air with us, and um, unse baat karte hain. we always uh, get some questions for you guys as well. If you've been in a car accident, if you're wondering why your insurance company isn't paying out, all those types of questions you want to ask us, you can ask us as well right now, 281-933-5555. He'd be glad to give you some uh, help and some answers to some of those questions as well. But let's start the conversation with you, Hadi. How are things at the Hadi Law Firm? What's going on this week? Everything's amazing. Guys, I want to make sure everyone out in the community is doing safe after the storm that we had on Tuesday. Yeah. My family and I didn't have power until 7 p.m. last night, so wow, okay. we were able to manage them. Um, and we're actively in trial right now. The, 
the law firm is in high gear, you know, you can reach us 24-7 at info at the and we're always there ready to serve everybody. Absolutely. So you guys lost power. And a lot of people in Fort Bend, Sugar Land area lost power. I lost power for about a day and a half as well. Um, and I think everybody was wondering, well, how are they going to throw this milk out and all the, uh, you know, groceries that we had in our, yeah. in our uh, thing. Yeah. Sana, you live in, ta- in downtown, so did you lose power? No, I didn't. I got lucky this time because I remember the snowstorm phase was pretty bad. But yeah. um, this time around, we were safe. We had electricity, so we were nice. enjoying the rain. Must be nice. <laughs> tell, tell, us, you know, tell us people without... Tell us how it felt. Yeah, you know, let us know what you if you were watching uh, Netflix that night while everybody else is trying to light some fire uh, around, you know, just to see where everybody's at. But nonetheless, um, so you guys are in trial now. When we talk about insurance companies, I know that's when you start grinding your teeth. I know that's when you get real aggressive. And that's a good thing because you need to have someone like that in your corner whenever it comes to getting the compensation. But Sana, I know you have some questions as well. Certainly, why uh, Javi got into uh, personal injury law in the first place and why he wants to do that. So, yeah, so, so, so before I move on to that, I just want Houston to know that I opened his website right now. And they have a live question answer session as well. So you can all you have to do is just... Type in your question and they will be ready to help you. So um, my question is, I know a lot of people must be asking you about your uh, cases and what you do, but my quest- first question is how did you get into this, as in how did you end up taking this up as a career? Like what was your motivation? Did you go through like an accident or something and you're like, this is what I want to do in life? <laughs> you know, it's, um, my, my, my experience in JP Course is probably why I'm an attorney, but there's an attorney in town, Ali McCarram, and he was a prominent Iranian attorney and I looked up to him growing up and that definitely led me to want to do personal injury law but me myself guys I've had my shoulder sewed on I've had knee surgery I've had some major accidents and that's how I fight for my clients in court I let the jury understand that I feel the pains that my clients are feeling mm-hmm. and it's not just a case number it's not just a claim number it's introducing them to a lifetime of permanent injuries and let, making sure the jury understands that these aren't just gonna disappear yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I that's, th- that's true I think it's and I feel if you've been through something personally you can like um, add to it more I think I, I don't know like that's I, that's what I feel that you're more personally related to your clients you would you, I mean you can feel their pain or what they're yeah. going through pun intended right I mean <laughs> it's your personal injury right exactly. so if you can personally relate to the injuries then yeah. that's the, the best individ- individual to advocate for the client. absolutely once again if you are just tuning in talking to the Hadi law firm Mr. Hussein Hadi give him a call 832-433 7977. Uh, personal injury is very important and I know uh, as a criminal defense attorney I get plenty of people calling me all the time saying hey I got in a car accident hey uh, you know this company you know I, I was working there and they didn't pay for my, in- my injuries and those types of things and I'm like man I don't do that kind of stuff but now I have someone I can refer to that knows what they're doing and of course you've had so many amazing verdicts for your clients in your favor and now I know that you're board certified so tell us what that exactly means to be board certified So to become board certified, you have to practice law for at least five years in the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. You have to do a minimum of 10 trials. And that's very difficult because about 2% of cases go to trial eventually. Um, And those 10 trials must amount to 20 days on top of endless, endless CLEs. I think 60 plus CLEs in the field of PI law. Then you got to take an exam that's half the bar exam. And it's Mm. very difficult because they tell you it's based on everything that all the credentials needed to sit for that exam. And... You know, thankfully you passed it, and, and now the top two percent board certified. That's awesome. It would represent our clients with um, strength. And now tell me this much, Javi. Uh, why is it important for you to get board certified? Why is that something that I mean, other than just you know adding that on the resume, adding that on the billboard? Why is that more personal? Because I know you take pride in what you do. Obviously, I see that uh, each and every time you and I have a conversation. But why is being board certified so important for you as far as the clients are involved? Sure, I want my clients to know that we're not just a pushover law firm. We're gonna take the cases to trial no matter what. We're not gonna force them and twist. A lot of lawyers twist the client's arm to come and take a bad offer from All Snake or Snake Farm or Geico. Or <laughs> so we want them to know that we will invest our own time, our own money personally in their cases so they get the maximum benefit that they deserve when they're involved in a tragic situation. Absolutely, once again, if you're just tuning in, Hadi Law Firm, visit their website again, if you have any questions right now, if you've been involved in a car accident, any personal injury issues, you have a question, you can call us at 281-933-5555, we'd love to take you on the air as well, and speak to him, he 
is board certified. He's been practicing for over 12 years now. And of course, right here in your town of Houston, Texas, and Fort Bend County, Sugarland as well. And we will talk about what he's doing next, some exciting news that's happening in your town of Fort Bend as well. Sana, I know you have another question you want to ask him. Go ahead. Yes, I do. So I'm meeting you for the first time. So I have like a lot of questions, which Please. a normal layman would have, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, God forbid, I I get into an accident. What is that right point to get in touch with you? Should I just get out of the car, call 911 and then call you? Or should I wait for when the insurance company gets in touch? Or what's like that right point? Yeah, right, right, right then and there. First and foremost, if you're hurt, call 911. Second, guys, we all have a cell phone. Look, we're live. Pull it out. Take pictures. Absolutely. Document Absolutely. your damages. Document the photographs. And then once you clear the scene and you get home that night, then call an attorney. Don't wait to call after the insurance companies because they're hired and trained professionals to get you on a recorded statement, get you locked and trapped right then and there within the first day or two. That's exciting. I didn't know about it because uh, that's usually what happened. A friend of mine uh, recently met an accident and uh, um, she had a lawyer. Her husband was a lawyer, luckily. So they figured it out. But I was just, um, I mean, I was imagining if I were at her place, I wouldn't have known what to do. Yeah. So I'm sure Houston is now informed that if, God forbid, you get into an accident, um, the, it's important to get hold of all the lawyers and mm -hmm. the right people sure. so that you're not stuck at any point. Now, let me ask you this, Hussein. Um, it is important to call the lawyers. And of course, what about when it comes to injuries? I mean, do you guys help? Or do you have a system in place where you have doctors in your uh, phone book that you can refer to as far as taking care of those medical injuries at the time? Because I think that's also important. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure with your experience, you have people that you can refer to as far as physicians and doctors when people come in injured uh, to your firm. Sure, we have a book of professionals and not just any type of doctor. Doctors that we know are willing to wait for us to fight the claim. They're willing to come and testify at trial. They will present well. They'll take care of our clients. And it's not just about the money. And a lot of our doctors are right here in the Harris County and Fort Bend community individuals that are listening to this radio station yes. um, people are aren't ready for wrecks mm -hmm. and, and they just don't have the funds sometimes if you have to go through physical therapy or get diagnostic images or even if you need an operation or sometimes major injuries right some scar revision surgery or even a dentist to review chipped teeth or sure. nose teeth and I think it's very important to, to make that distinction. Uh, right? They don't have the, the, the funds at that time to go to the hospital, especially since, I mean, their whole world has been just flipped upside down, let alone maybe their vehicle has as well. And, and you don't know where to go. So, I mean, maybe you don't have the money up front and that is an amazing, uh, Thing that the Holly Law Firm is helping uh, work with those type of physicians and those doctors that understand that where your financial situation is at the time, and then they, they can collect that money at the end of the case rather than having to get paid up front. Because I've gone through many different doctors' issues. I've done my own surgery. I've gotten um, things without insurance companies and with insurance companies, and those t those bills rack up, man. I mean, those are expensive expensive bills. And uh, you want to be able to make sure that you're taken care of, especially if you've been wrongfully injured. Now, let me make that distinction. Some people don't understand personal injury does not necessarily mean just a vehicle car accident, right? There could be other types of personal injury that come that, that you, you guys take care of as well. Sure, of course. I mean, take work-related uh, issues, right? Wrongful termination, <clears throat> discrimination, failure to pay overtime, which is a big issue also. Um, uh, we, we deal with plant explosions, dog bite cases, slip and falls, so, like in any grocery store or at a restaurant or right here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and also all types of injuries. And then also it doesn't have to be personal into your body. Okay. Individuals that dealt with storm damage from these high winds, uh, shingles ripping off the roof. You know, sure. insurance companies are going to try to twist your arm and get you to take pennies on the dollar. So we can definitely help with any type of commercial business or home damage claims as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're going to take a little quick break, play another track for all of you guys. Enjoy and then on the flip side of this song, we're talking with the same man. Are you are you ready for this, Houston? We just spoke to a well-educated, well-experienced attorney. And on the flip side of this song, we're going to talk to a man who's running for judge. Same guy. Could you believe it? <laughs> he, has so, he wears so many different hats. And of course, he is a father of three beautiful children, a husband as well. He is a man right here in Fort Bend County that helps with his community, uh, come from immigrant family. And we'll talk more about his background, his history next right here on the Rush Hour Show. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the voices of AJ. And Sana. And Attorney Hussein Hadi in the house. Yes, that is right. The Don't Texas go Torch. <laughs> yeah, super hype. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you to all the viewers out there watching and leaving messages and comments. Suits all the time. By the time I get all the way down the court, I'm immediately taking it off. No, all day, man. Yeah. 
When I first became a lawyer, I started wearing it seven days a week. I just mentally trained myself. Even on Saturday, my wife's like, it's Saturday. I gotta get used to it, man, always. Because it was just me, so everything and anything I did was all me everywhere, all the time. So you never know, man. You know, I just gotta go hard. So COVID kind of relaxed it a lot. Oh, that's, that's, so. that's kind of what set me back. I mean, because I've been practicing for about six years now, so I mean, I was doing it all the time as well on Monday through Friday, but then COVID happened, and then we, I'm doing an online Zoom here, and I'm like, up front, all business now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear basketball That's shorts it. and stuff. It's like, you're like, Paul, yeah. let me get that. Whoa. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, like, put the laptop down real quick, move over and stuff, but... That's good though. I mean, I think uh, I think it's important to set that up. We tried 30 cases in 2019. Okay. Um, I probably sat in, I lost count now, but 22 of them myself, 20, 22 of them. I probably did 16 board hires um, on top of everything else, right? And um, the judges, especially in Harris County, 26 of them, or 26 or seven were in Harris County alone. And the judges saw what I was doing. And the judge is always it's like, set hottie, he's ready, set hottie, he's ready. And they push us at 30 verdicts, which I would tell everyone, it's not going to happen, guys. It may never happen again. Boom, COVID. Never going to happen again. Maybe, but not. Maybe, yeah. maybe like five, ten, five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, COVID is definitely for sure. Yeah. I'm with Sam. How are you, sir? Welcome, everyone watching, guys. Leave a message, leave a com comment, call, call the radio station. What's the number here? Nine three three five 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 five. I know some of you guys. I recognize some of these names. You guys listen to us all the time. Call us two eight one nine three three five 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 five. We'll put you on the air as well. Yes, sir. Two eight one nine three three five 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 five. Give me a difficult question. All the questions I'm being asked today, guys. I just pull up from work, you know, and get on the mic. <laughs> so it's, it's a tss, hot mic here. <laughs> That's how I roll. Oh, missing from where? Oh. <laughs> yeah. We definitely went back. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do something there too. Anyone want to get a little closer to the day? We can do a Sangi radio and hottie bash over there. Just something private, something small, you know, keep it at like 40, 50 people at most. And you know, it's just all on me. Well, well I mean, it'll be a good time. Then we can. I mean, we won't have to the event itself, but like. January, February. We had an event last night. Um, it wasn't advertised publicly. We raised uh, that one event probably like 65, was that, 70. Was that what you sent me? Was that the fundraiser? Or Possibly. Or if I, if there was only one, if I sent. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Last night? Last night, yeah. So. My mom was at the hospital. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Is she okay? It's not COVID, is it? No, no, no. Okay. My mom, right when COVID hit, man, same thing. Yeah, it was not good. I got home from the gym, and then all of a sudden happened. That was going to be a whole different game plan of my night. Yeah. It was a long night. My, my mom went from being active, doing all kinds of stuff, and COVID hit, the stress, and just yeah. dormant. Back on air right here on your favorite 95.1 FM and 1468 AM, Sangeet Radio, AJ and Sana right here on the Rush Hour Show. Right before that song, we were talking to the attorney, Mr. Hussein Hadi from Hadi Law Firm. And now we're going to talk about what he's about to do and he's about to accomplish in the upcoming month. And he is one of the hardest working guys in town. I mean, even if you've never met him, you've seen him, you've seen his billboards, you've seen him on social media, you've seen him on car shows. He's out and about and he's making sure you guys know who he is. Is come say hi to him next time you run into him at, at the shopping mall, at the grocery store, and wherever you see him, say hi to him. Introduce yourself. He would love to meet you as well. We're talking Hussein Hadi for Justice of the Peace, Precinct 4. That's in Fort Bend County. Now let's talk to him about why he wants to run for JP Court 4 and, of course, uh, why he wants to become a judge. So Hadi, tell us yes, a little sir. bit about that. Yes, sir. Guys, you know, I, I grew up in the JP system, and I, I guess I had a heavy foot. I liked to race as a kid growing up, and mm -hmm. not anymore. Now, now we educate, you know, individuals and kids. We have our race simulator at the shows, and 
Um, one of the biggest issues was sitting in court. You know, you make a little mistake and you're sitting there for five, six hours sometimes only to get a dismissal. Mm -hmm. um, they wouldn't put up cases for trial. So I, I feel like I can definitely bring my experience to the JP system, which is the court that most individuals first experience in court is going to be in a JP court. Mm -hmm. And it should be a court that helps them, right? Sure. Helps, educates them mm -hmm. and is open for individuals before they're in trouble. For example, rehabilitating tenants or giving tenants opportunities to pay their rent or working with landlords or individuals like kids with truancy problems sure. right or kids with paraphernalia issues is educate them rather than punish them mm -hmm. because when you punish a kid who's already having issues and now a single mom or a single father has to come and pay that fine they're going to get mad at the kid the kid's going to spiral downwards and there's a lot of different things and one of the biggest issues is jp judges who sit on the bench but they're upset for being there then why are you running exactly <laughs> i understand I, and i've seen that as a uh, as an attorney or even before then as well, that I've seen judges that don't look like they're happy being where they are, they don't look like they're happy to come to work, and they're sitting there yelling or, or scolding people for doing things, and we understand, you know, people do make mistakes, and as they should be, you know, treated for that and taken care of for that, but you know, you're right, I think it's a very important distinction to make versus, you know, rehabilitation versus punishing them and fining them and and uh, you know maybe even well I wouldn't say jail time but those types of things because you're right the wrong the kid may not take that as a second chance he sees that as okay you know what I messed up I'm gonna be a mess up my parents are gonna be mad at me well how do I get around this yeah. and 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 just spirals down like you said so I think that's very important that you you notice that and uh, you're willing to maybe uh, once you get in that position to change how how the how those things go each and every time right yes sir definitely sometimes kids <clears throat> need second chances third chances individuals need second or third chances tenants need help landlords you know it's even though they have to pay their bills landlords sometimes are in a better position to work with tenants and that's how you create a society that can grow together and work together mm -hmm. um, and the jp court system has to be the initial court that educates mm -hmm. and rehabilitates rather than punishes the individuals that come in there all right so we we last i spoke with you um we found out that in order to be a jp judge you are still able to keep your practice afloat and keep your practice open so here's my hard question for the day javi and that is if you are on the bench if you are working monday through friday and I, i'm a client and i hear you know this big hot shot hottie and the, the texas torch and his billboards are everywhere and he has a nice car he has you know, snake farm or all snake or whatever you want to call these insurance companies, but you're over there on the bench taking care of some kid who got caught with something in his pockets at school or whatever the case may be. My question is, how are you able to juggle both? Guys, for 12 years, I've created a system in my practice. 2019, we set the standard in the United States for a law firm with four attorneys to have 30 trials to verdict. I wasn't in court. I lived in, I wasn't in the office. I lived in trials, right? So we created a process to where we can take care of our clients. All their questions will be answered. Their cases will be properly handled. God bless my sisters are there. We have a strong team. And I'll always be available. Come and visit me. Like I said, come to court when you're not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that very much. Once again, how do we find out more information about uh, your campaign? How do we donate? How do we uh, get a yard? Part. Yeah, how do we become a part of it? How do we get a yard sign? All those good details. Please go to hottieforjudge.com and you can see that on the top it has our supporters list. And, and we're... You know, recently uh, endorsed by Constable Nabil Shaikh of Precinct 4 and, and Mr. Uh, Rehan Siddiqui. And of course, hopefully, Sangi Radio soon. We're going to be posted up on hey, top. I made my donation last week whenever yes, we, were, did. we were on the air. So and, uh, I definitely support you. I definitely know that Sangeet Radio uh, supports you as well. And of course, we're going to make sure that we get you that ride to victory. But it's all your hard work, it's all your you know, charisma. And of course, the, the fact that you're such an easy person to talk to. And we want to have Thank those you. types of people that we run into the judges. And I've met judges out, outside of the courtroom, right? And some of them are fun and friendly, and you're happy to have that judge in your court. And you're happy to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go see this judge today, and I know that it's going to be a fair judge. It's not going to be someone who's grumpy, who's going to, you know, be upset with me or when I didn't do anything wrong or be upset with my client, those kind of things. You want to find those judges that are personable, that are human, that have that human factor to them, and I think you are definitely one of those. Thank people. you, sir. And that changes the entire environment. If the judge is always grouchy and grumpy, mm -hmm. then the staff will be that way, the bailiff will be that way, the people that work in the front to process the claims, mm -hmm. the tickets, the citations, any yeah. of the issues are going to be that way. And uh, let's, let's, let's be real right here, Hadi. Uh, you and I both know that whenever we see a client, whether it's in criminal court or in civil court for you, you know if there's a certain judge that is on you know the docket or 
right? You're on their docket. You're sitting there like, ah, oh, you don't want to go see that judge right there. I can name a couple, but I won't uh, just to save myself. But, you know, there's a few of those judges where you, where you just know, right? And then there's all those other judges, like one of my favorite judges who, you know, he's a hardworking man. I know you and I both know him very well, and he was elected this last year uh, to uh, the 248, uh, Christian Becerra. So he's been on some these radios. Is it two? I think it's a 400. Four, yeah, four, uh, know, yeah. 434. 434, yes, yeah. 434. So, 434, yeah. So um, he was elected, and he's been on Singeet's radio. And like I said, those those are the ones that you cheer for because it's like, you know, they know what they're doing. They're very kind, fun, friendly, and respectable, and they, you know, they do a great job. But they're also those people who make sure that justice being, is being served, but you're not overdoing it, right? You're making sure exactly. that you're giving these people a second chance. You're making sure that these people are a part of the community. I mean, these business owners that are getting in trouble or these family members, there's parents, there's kids, right? And their future's in, in front of them and you don't want to ruin that for them, right? Sure. For, first of all, I don't know what you're talking about. I love all the judges. <laughs> <laughs> but judge, you know, I, I, I've, I've spoken to Judge Bracera and he's one of the judges who was newly elected and, and tried to bring about and is still fighting for change. And if it's... Uh, technology change or process changes or how they handle um, punishing individuals and he's always been a forefront ever since he started and he's a good person to emulate especially when I become judge mm -hmm. to learn from him and create a JP system that's respective of all the individuals absolutely son I know you've been uh, quiet a little bit I've been taking a lot of time on it so, so I'm sure too much information about a lot of things uh -huh. and since I'm not I'm the only one who's not a lawyer over here <laughs> so I feel like I should maybe I don't know take this up as a Formal, uh, I don't know, I should change no, my no. career or something? Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, this, this is uh, two lawyers walking a radio station. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, no, absolutely. We, uh, you know what? We value your opinion most because uh, maybe you aren't an attorney, but you're an active part of this community and an active part of this uh, radio station as well. So we want to make sure that people like you who have these uh, you know, questions and these worries and these issues, I'm sure you would love to hear from you. And, uh, and anybody else, you can ask me if you want to ask me it's based on the personal injury questions or maybe even if you want to know a little bit more about him at running as judge why you should vote for him you would love to answer those questions as well 281-933-5555 but Sana anything else you'd like to share so yes one more uh, very uh, different question since I'm sure about your uh, professional life AJ has asked a lot of questions and we know too much but like, my question to you is what do you would like to do apart from, um, let's say, your professional life? Like, what? How do you manage it? And is there? Do you have like a hobby that you do? Do you <laughs> go out and have like you have a I don't know nice food, favorite food, favorite restaurant? Don't name any restaurant. No, no, I won't. <laughs> but uh, yes, what's your hobby? One of my favorite food is desi food. It's yeah, full of food. spice, full of flavor. Ever yeah. since I was a kid, I love I love chicken tikka masala, mm. sag paneer. I love I love it all. And my so good. My hobby, you know, three boys, two, four, and six, is spending as much time as I can with them and my wife and and now we canvas all the time and I knock on doors and I take the kids either they sit in the car or they go and knock on doors with me and, and it's a good experience for them it gets them more open to meeting the community and, and being open to individuals and, and outspoken and, and it's just amazing also you know going to the gym playing some racquetball and um, but I, I, can campaigning all day every day guys so, yeah, so. I mean, that, that's the thing though right uh, we want to know that you have a good balance of that and you know family comes first as always and uh, you're taking care of the uh, the family responsibilities and mashallah yes he has three young boys and i've seen them all over social media knocking on doors uh, holding uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yard signs as well and t-shirts and bags and stuff like that so i think it's an amazing opportunity you guys should meet them all and i know that you guys had a um you guys had a uh, car show uh, in Town Center not too yeah. long ago, so uh, we'll talk about that. Let's see if we can get someone on the air real quick. 281-933-5555. Singing the radio, you're on the air. Your vote is for him. Thank well, you, sir. Very, Thank very you so nice. much. What is your name, if you don't mind? Afghanam? 
Shazad's up. Okay, well, Shazad, thank you so much for calling in and uh, uh, letting us know that you will be voting for him as well. And yes, uh, I mean, I, 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 he's a very humble man. Uh, that is Hadi. I mean, there's many things I'm sure he doesn't boast about that he's done in his in his life and his career and in his profession. So uh, I'm sure I would not have known that until someone called and said that. So um, thank you so much, we, Mr. Shazad. Thank we, you. we appreciate you uh, calling in and letting us know that as well. Um, of course, you can join him on Facebook as well. I know he's streaming live on Facebook right now as well, right? Yes, sir. All right. So we can have him on Facebook as well. Uh, thank you so much for calling in. And of course, we'll be taking some more callers on uh, down the road as well. He'll be joining us every Thursday right here from 4.30 to about 5 on the Rush Hour show. Javi, Giannis, uh, before I let you go, anything else you'd like to share with us? No, guys, always a pleasure to be here. Please go to hadiforjudge.com if you're listening and if you appreciate what we're doing for the community, send us a free smile, join our supporters list and help us, inshallah, the first Muslim justice of the peace in Texas. That's awesome. Absolutely very true. Good luck to you and of course, Sangeet Radio does uh, proudly want to make sure that we support you guys and we support yes, you yes. and of course, in these endeavors coming out in the near future we'll see you uh, next thursday right here as well yes, thank, thank you so you. much thank you thank you, thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. No, absolutely you. we'll be right back don't go anywhere we have a short commercial break the azani asr as well you're listening to houston's number one day see music station 95.1 fm with your host aj and and right now we have our special guest the one and the only let me hear it the texas torch that's that's right. Right. Hadi. Yes, yes sir that's right hussein hottie right here in our studio don't go anywhere all day, guys. Thank you again for another edition. I can't wait till next week. Mr. Hassan Dadi in the house. Miss Sana Hyder in the house. See you guys. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for the amazing comments. And thank you for all the love, my friends. Go to hottieforjudge.com and send us some free smiles.